Well, Glen Hodges, a very good away display here tonight from Wimbledon. Slightly disappointed that we didn't win in the end. Yeah, I'd go, I'd go a bit further and very good. I thought it was tremendous. I thought to a man, you know, they, they carried out the uh, the way we wanted to play and they understood what, what was asked of them. And uh, and to come to a place like this and be disappointed you haven't got three points um, is is great testament to how they played. Must have been a difficult task today with the situation with the Sunderland players. Um, was it a real thing for you to keep the players focused? No, the, play, the players, only when we got to the ground that we realised it was all over Twitter, all over social media, that there was a, an outbreak here of COVID, that we wasn't aware of that drive, driving up this morning. And uh, I'm sure if it were, uh, you know, they wouldn't have let us come this way if this far, if we hadn't going to play the game. So it was just a question of uh, maybe they made a few changes and, you know, it does affect it does affect the team. And, uh, you know, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, but, but they, they put out, still put out a very strong yeah. side and it's one that, you know, we, we did well to play against, did well it, against. It showed their strength because they brought him real experience to yeah, into that yeah. team. Oh, yeah, no, they were, they're, they're a good side. You know, these are, these are at the right end of the table and, and looking for promotion. They need to get in the championship. So, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, their budget is big and we know that. But the way we play tonight, you know, uh, I thought was tremendous and we, you know, we, I felt we deserved the three points. We interviewed Jack Rudoni in the build up to this game. Wonderful skill for that penalty, yeah, wasn't it? I, mean, I thought it was tremendous. Him, the two, him and Ryan on the, on the right yeah. and the left, I felt they get us up the pitch. They called her a threat. They worked their socks off and, uh, you know, and, and, and they were they were thorn in their side all all, uh, all game. So, uh, you know, it's probably had a little knock there, but a uh, little knock there, so we put Ethan on. But I, I thought that both of them were tremendous. And Ryan Longman, he's got that directness, hasn't he? That's a, that's a real bonus in away games, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a different player on the wing than he is down, down the middle. I thought he got, he got probably more the ball wide than he normally would do if he plays down the middle. So it was a different position for him. But one, I know he plays because he plays he played there for Brighton. So that's one that we, we've, we've had up our sleeve, but not quite used it. In fact, Oxford away in the Caribou Cup, first game of the season, we used him there and he was, he was, he was great there. So, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, it's another, 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 Another position we can we can fill and we can we can cause problems in. And how important was this display after recent weeks? I mean, Nick Dawes talked about it being a bit of a blip, but it seems yeah. like we got over that well tonight. Yeah, we did do, we did do, and it's great. And, and, and what we got to do again, I think you know that, that, that it's up and down. It's an it's inconsistent inconsistencies that cause the problem now. You know, they set the chance to the boys now. This is the this is the benchmark. Can we keep repeating these levels? And uh, and that's that's the that's the main task of us all. Well done, Glenn. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.